this way. We're just gonna have random, like, pillars of gravel all over the place. Are you fucking kidding me? All of that landed on a tort? No. There's no way. Oh! There is way. And also, I almost died. Holy shit. Wow. I Don't ask me to do that again, because I won't. Remember when I made the Genku with maps? Uh, no, actually, I don't remember that. What? What? Fascist Lush. Anyways, um, I need a pure black for that color. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Man, fucking same vibe as like, man, I hate Mega Evolutions. But Mega Evolutions have its place. Uh, also, something that will like frustrate me to no end is when Pokemon fans complain that each generation has its own unique like gimmick feature and drops the gimmick features of like the previous generations like yeah that's what you're supposed to fucking do if you have a series that's supposed to change every generation like at its core some it's the same pokemon game but like the flavor is gonna be different it's like fucking complaining about like they release a new ice cream flavor and it was like last time it was you know, vanilla with cookie dough. And then this year it's vanilla with fucking Reese's cups. And you complain that it doesn't have cookie dough when that's the whole goddamn point. <laughs> like, obviously it's going to be different. It needs to be. <laughs> that being said, I'm very excited to see uh, what they come up with as the gimmick for uh, the next Pokemon games. I do complain about the new ice cream flavors because they fucking removed my mocha almond. <laughs> Look, okay, aside from that, aside from, you know, removing your mocha almond fudge, which is an ice cream flavor that I cannot have, otherwise I will die. Uh, I won't die, <laughs> but, you know. Um... Hmm, Reese's. Uh, I will likely not be getting the next Pokemon games. Yeah, honestly, that's valid. Um, I have yet to get uh, Pokemon Shield. So I'm not even, like, caught up officially. And also, there's a couple of generations that I skipped. So I think I'm due for a generation skip, maybe. Uh, so, like, while everyone's playing the new Pokemon games, like, I'll be streaming myself playing through, like, fucking Pokemon Shield. <laughs> be like, hey, I'm really late to this trend, but I don't give a shit. Because <laughs> it's my channel, I'll do what I want. Suck my dick. Uh, also, because I started a half an hour late, because I was busy playing Splatoon, um, we will be going until 8.30 instead of 8. So, I need to, like, set, like, like a reminder on my phone or something to be like, hey, dumbass, you're a streamer now, and be like, oh, shit, you're right, I am. Uh, I have got, I have not gotten Sword or Shield or Legends Arceus, nor do I plan to get either. Uh, I'm very accepting of change. Not much dampers my vibe, yeah. Um, I've heard good thing. uh, I join things easily, yeah. Um... I heard good things about Legends Arceus. Um, I personally don't have it, but also I am a poor boy that must put their funds into things that will uh, better my skills and make me more employable or allow me to make uh, projects that will net me money. So, you know. 
I gotta, gotta, I gotta put me first. Uh, absolutely loved Arceus. Yeah, I remember you telling me about how much you, you loved it to bits. And then, I, I also remember, um, me fawning over, uh, some of the, uh, Team Galactic admins. And then you being like, oh, one of them has an ancestor that's way cuter and I was like no way and you were like yes way and I was like prove it and you were like here you go and I was like I'm gonna simp that's that's how that conversation went like no cap um uh, saying the map GameCube okay um my main thing is they're made by Game Freak and I'm personally not a fan of some of their practices that I'm more aware of now that I'm older Years are, um, are you talking about like their programming? Uh, now I'm curious. What tea do you know? How spill the tea? Spill the tea, my guy. What what do you know? What's the forbidden knowledge? Is it that the director is secretly gay? Cause that would be poggers. Uh. Arazu is the name. Okay. You know what? I'm going to look at that image that you sent me. Uh, burp. You sent that. And then Gunners sent me. Oh, that from the realm. And <laughs> that time where I almost nuked your, um, your armor stands because I was trying to clear some stuff with commands and I wasn't thinking uh 643 drop frames over the course of an hour eh, eh, it could be better the fact that the uh, dual version system is unnecessary and only used to sell more copies in other words water is a liquid <laughs> They're not great programmers in the fact that they're supposedly delayed a game and removed a lot of features for animation model quality and didn't improve either. Oh, so you mean that, you know, the stuff that we all knew <laughs> was that they're kind of sloppy. <laughs> game Freak, honestly, like, as someone who dabbles in, in programming and, and all that stuff, Game Freak, they're, they're a very sloppy game development studio. Uh, but it could be worse. They could be Yandere Dev. Y or Yandere Dev, or however the fuck you say it. I don't know. I don't care. Um, but, yeah. Anyways. Um, I mean, I... There is... You know. I think there is something to be said about um, the dual version system and this is probably just me but i kind of like it i know i'm gonna get crucified for that but i do like the fact where you know it is so like connecting with people people connecting with people bleh is so much easier these days than it was in the past um, but yeah, now that I'm older, I'm more aware of it, and I don't really support it. They're going to be a AAA game development, and not going to improve themselves. I mean, yeah, fair. Um, I don't know. I, I think they're, you know, if the games were a lot more polished than they are you now, which, you know, let's be honest, you know, they could be more polished um i wouldn't mind the dual version system because i think it's kind of fun having to like reach out to a friend who i know has the game or the other version be like yo i'm trying to find you know the last like 20 or so can you like hook me up or whatever i don't want to connect with people i want to be able to do everything without relying on others wow that sounds very not very pog champ like of you. <laughs> I 
I don't fucking know. Um, anyways. Uh, ha ha. Do I want two more rows before dipping down, or is this good? I think this is good. Let's let's do this, and then it'll dip down. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Also, fuck Gen two. <laughs> Shit sucks. Yeah, Gen two was an interesting experiment that kind of fell short. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh God! Ugh, fuck. Oh God, where did you come from? Anyways, back to heavily modern Minecraft. Good Lord, where the shit? Oh, hey, iron. Oh, probably all the way up there. Good Lord. Bro, what the fuck? Anyways. Back to building a platform for seemingly no reason, except the reason will come in later. Very much later. Are there any... Slimes tend to spawn down there. I don't see any slimes. Okay. Never mind. I wish hopeful. I do have a lot of slime balls, but I don't have any, like, materials to convert them into other stuff. Gonna have to go. Have fun, though. Thank you for hanging out, Gunner. I will see you Discord side. See ya, my bro. Do, 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 do that. And then... Keep saying skeleton rails. Well, where the fuck is it? Whoop. I don't know. Mm hmm. If I die, I'm gonna be so fucking sad. Oh, god damn it. I think I just lost a torch to the ether. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Do 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 do. Let's keep going. Do 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 do. I am totally not concerned. Do 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 do. Except I totally fucking am. Do 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 do. All right, yeah. Let's just do it like this. This is this is fine. This is gonna present no problems whatsoever. Nope. No problems. Not a single problem here. No Cherie Bob. I keep hearing that skeleton rattling, and honestly, that's rattling me a little bit. Yeah, okay, I like this. Uh, let's patch that hole. And then do that. And then I want to light this up just because I'm paranoid that mobs are good. <gasps> Fuck. Oh, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Where the shit? Oh, God. There it is. Oh, I am uh, not prepared. There we go. Charge the enemy. Whoop. Get off my platform. Haha. <laughs> Take that. Asshole. I teabag you, but I'm all the way up here. <laughs> and I'd rather not. <laughs> uh, bless. Oh, what? Okay. So, now that that skeleton is finally gone and no longer bothering me, we can continue on in peace. Oh, god fucking damn it. <laughs> Man, if I ever get to the point where, like, I'm, like, relatively well off in terms of money, uh, I might do, 
a charity stream where it's like every time I swear I have to donate like five dollars or something. I think that would be nice. Also, I am planning on the fuck uh streaming on what would be hold on i gotta adjust my chair oh no my chair's actually fine i was just slouching um the day that i would be walking at graduation uh i'm not going to that because it's stupid um uh, nah um but anyways um i will be streaming that day uh it'll be a shatter oh i'd be streaming anyways because it's uh friday saturday so yeah <laughs> instead of walking across the stage to get a piece of paper that i worked seven years to get i'm gonna be playing video games for a bunch of strangers on the internet yeah <laughs> you know i'm curious actually i just had a thought that like I wonder if the frames dropping is because I am recording while I'm streaming. And when I was doing the test stream earlier, I, uh, well then, um, what you call it? I was not recording. Uh, if I did a swear jar, I'd go broke. <laughs> yep. Oh shit. Honestly, same. And I just proved that by fucking swearing. Ah, I did it again. <sighs> oh, man. There we go. This is coming together nicely. Also, the music that's playing right now is very much giving me Portal 2 vibes. And I really like that. <laughs> I was actually listening to the the Portal 2 soundtrack earlier today. On my way to the chiropractor. Uh, tch, 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 yeah. I think with that water, I'm just going to build around it. Because <laughs> it makes the most sense. And I'm out of cobblestone. I should just grab all of my cobblestone to like work on this project and that's how we'll we'll end the stream off just building a giant platform in a cave oh man i think honestly this whole like streaming thing is going to be a learning experiment because i've been uh just doing youtube exclusively for like a long time and I, I'm trying to like figure out, you know, which is better, like locally recording while I'm streaming or just streaming and then downloading the VODs later. I just, I don't know. I got to figure this out as I do it. <laughs> I will say one of the greatest things about streaming, like especially like you know vtubing and all that is that it gave a lot of socially anxious and chronically ill people a way to connect with others and make a lot of meaningful connections and i just think that's beautiful like honestly i think there's something like truly magical to that fact and I don't know. It warms my cold, dead heart to know that, you know, this medium has enabled so many people to connect with one another and form such meaningful bonds in a way that, you know, couldn't have been done like, you know, hell, even like 10 years ago. Like, VTubing wasn't really a thing. Like, being a PNG tuber wasn't, you know, totally, like, not not in the sense of what it is today. Uh, like, people had, like, personas or whatever, but uh, nothing was ever, like, 
to the extent that it is today. Like you can go onto to itch.io and find like a dozen programs on, you know, to make being a, a VTuber, being a PNG tuber, like, you know, very easy. Like I'm using a program called, uh, called Gazo tuber. And, uh, that I got from, from itch.io and it was free and you know it's allowing me to you son of a bitch um you know it it allows me to feel more comfortable streaming when you know i otherwise would not be because you know i'm very self-conscious about how i look uh especially while i'm streaming uh i always wonder if i'm emoting properly and you know with png tuber i feel a lot more relaxed and i feel you know, a lot better about, um, streaming and about, you know, my abilities as a performer, because I think, I think that's one, I think I just touched on it was, uh, you know, I see a lot of people like they follow creators because like they're, you know, really attractive or, or, you know, like something about like their physical appearance is like super appealing to the person following them. But, you know, <clears throat> I'm just a fucking computer monitor. Um, uh, that's my persona. Um, and you know, it, that makes me feel a little bit better because it's a, uh, you know, some assurance that, you know, the people that are coming to my streams are, you know, coming to watch me and, you know, play a, you know the the silly video games and talk about my my silly little life and go on silly little rants and uh, you know they're here you know for all of that and not you know because I may be physically attractive which I'm not I'll be honest I am not conventionally attractive. Uh, if Gunner was here, he would bash me over the head with a textbook and be like, no, none of that. But, I mean, it is the truth, though. It is the truth. And, yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> went on a little philosophical rant of some kind there. Hmm. <laughs> Lies and slander. There it is. I don't know. I think some... There are definitely points in time where I definitely feel very confident in my appearance. But for the most part, I don't. And... Uh, like, as a, as a performer, as, you know... You know... Uh, from with a theater background i shouldn't really be caring about my physical appearance and my overall attractiveness that much you know as long as i you know at the end of the day i can still perform the the roles asked of me but i mean you know these days it definitely seems like you know, being physically attractive definitely helps in some cases. Just with life. Because uh, there's a lot of fat phobia out there and it's honestly really discouraging sometimes, but... Especially, like, oh my gosh, like... <laughs> Heart. Um... Like, I see on, like, TikTok, and I know TikTok's not a good, you know, a d example of humanity as a whole. Um, but I see a lot of people, like, on, on, like, TikTok. And I guess they do it on Twitter, too. I just haven't seen it on Twitter or examples of it on happening on Twitter. But, like, people will be like, oh, it's, you know, the reason why you're a VTuber is because you're fat and ugly. And, you know, that kind of gets to me because uh, I kind of, you know, I imagine myself, like, objectively I am fat. 
Uh, but whether or not I am ugly is heavily debated by my friends because they're just trying to blow smoke on my ass or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm joking. Hal, by the way, please do not hit me. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. The fat phobia is real. And I don't quite care for it. <laughs> uh, what specifically is that emote that you just used? That <laughs> Hal chill. Yeah, Hal, you should you should chill. Chill out, my dude. Um. Checking something. Hold on. Okay. Um, I will say though that I am, uh, exercising again. I'm using like ring fit adventure because, um, I have gotten to the point where it is difficult for a person my size to find pantaloons. And, uh, I've, I checked my weight and I was like, oh damn, I'm outside my comfort range. So, um, I got to get back into that. It doesn't help that um, mentally I was not well for uh, an extended period of time. And that really played into things. So I definitely um, want to like get myself back into that sort of like range of weight where, you know, it's not, eh, it's still kind of difficult to buy pantaloons, but um, it wouldn't be as difficult, honestly. What did you say? Uh, the emote is a joke because people would say I have no chill. So I made my chill emote be an ice cube on fire. So it can't chill. God bless. Uh... Man, I think honestly, like two hours, like an hour and a half seems pretty decently long, which holy crap, we're <laughs> no chill, um, which I can't believe we're already at an hour and a half and it is 8 PM, but I do want to go for another half an hour, um, just because of the fact that, you know, I was half an hour late. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I was talking about, like, doing Ring Fit Adventure and trying to work out so I can get back in my comfort zone uh, of weight. And um, I will say that... Um, you know, a majority of the reason why I want to get, uh, I want to start exercising again. Part of it is because I want to get back into that, um, uh, that range, but also a little bit of it is, you know, heavily internalized fat phobia that, you know, was just like a product of my upbringing. Um, so maybe, I don't know how I'm going to hold myself accountable to that, but I do know that last year, uh, I had, um, I had tried doing ring fit adventure for a few months and I actually lost a decent amount of weight. Um, and it did help that I, you know, also changed my diet a little bit. Um, what I consumed, um, so I'm kind of I kind of hoping for similar results within a few months time. And I am starting it around the same time I did last year too. All you got to do is get to the point where you feel good about yourself, be dapper. Yeah. Like honestly, I 
I might want to go further below my comfort range because the low end of my range was set because I was like the the lowest weight I could get to without having to like 